Hello guys, Dan here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install shaders onto Minecraft. It's the latest version, 1.7.10. And as you can see in the gameplay, as you can see, look, this is what Minecraft looks like with all the shaders. You get waving grass, waving trees, and yeah, you get stuff like a lens flare, and just the fact the sun looks a lot better than what it did um, you know, without shaders. But yeah, shaders look incredibly good, and, to, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to apply these to the latest version, 1.7.10. As me looking for YouTube, a lot of people met these tutorials and they're not 1.7.10, so I'm going to show you exactly 1.7.10. Just going to kind of a little bit of that again. So just switching over to the um, the desktop, as you can see, I'm going to do this completely from scratch. So I've uninstalled Minecraft, uninstalled all, the mo all my mods, so I'm going to show you how to actually um, install it all from scratch. So first of all, you want to go to Minecraft, so Minecraft.net, you want to click on the download it here. You want to then download the minecraft.exe and this is a 600k file. Once you've done that, you can close that. And then as you find in the link in the description, there's a link here. It'll be called Minecraft Shaders 1.7.10 Mr. Danamon 2050. Click the download and that's one point, uh, well, one make sure we see. So that's all done. As you can see, these are both downloaded and I just want to close your web browser. So we've got the minecraft.exe and we've also got the shaders. I originally had the shaders, so I'm just going to put that in there exactly. And there we are. So we've got Minecraft and the shaders. Now, right click on your Minecraft, click run as admin, and click yes. And then this is going to be running the um, Minecraft launcher, and here this is going to get your Minecraft up and running. I'm really sure you guys have installed Minecraft already, but basically all you want to do is just sign in with your email address. So you get me doing here. And then once you've done that, um, you want to go to Edit Profile and make sure that it's on Use Latest Version, so 1.7.10. Click Save Profile and click Play. This guys will now download um, the latest files for 1.7.10. You've got to do a you've got to do a this for the shaders to work. So you know if you guys want to install Minecraft and install it again, you can do that. But if if you've played 0.7.10, um, then it should be okay. So once this is done uh, you can move on to the next step but we'll just do this right now so um so here we are this is the uh, zip that we downloaded minecraft shaders point um well 1.7.10 and right click on there you want to click um extract here and then you should get to another folder double click on that one and then you should get mod and also shaders now go into the mod and then you should see here um a shaders mod and that's the jar file so just minimize this and just wait until your Minecraft are actually done. So once you've actually um, installed Minecraft, you want to go on single player, you want to go into create new world, and then you just want to click create new world. And once this is loaded up, when it does load up, you just need to quit the game, simple as that. Once it's loaded up and you're able to walk around, there we are. Minecraft's always lagging when it first spawns in. There we are, 40 FPS. Now you want to click actually just wait until you so it's loading quite a bit in. Oh, we're getting 50 FPS. Yeah, whatnot. So once it's done, click save and exit and then quit. That's it, none. Now you want to be installing the mod. So go back to the folder where you got the mod, right click on here, and click um, open. There we are. And then let's uh, um, make sure you close the Minecraft launcher. And this is going to be installed in the C users Danny slash app data slash roaming slash dot minecraft click yes and then it'll say um shaders it's added profile and then it said cannot find version 1.7.10 optifine this is not for the optifine this is a very very simple installation process and um, at the bottom just say complete click ok and have voila now guys you want to go back into the folder that I extracted go into folder 2 which is shaders and then all these shaders here you want to highlight them all then you want to click copy once you've clicked copy, go to your start button, click on run, and type in app data. You can put app data or, or the one with the percentages in. I'm just going to show you what you do. So just type in app data, just on its own, click enter, then go to your roaming, then to your Minecraft. And then you want to right click, click new folder, and type in shader packs. Then click enter, enter again, and paste all of your shaders in here. So there we are. These are a lot of shaders to get you guys going. There are loads of shaders on the internet, but these are just some ones that I've found. And uh, yeah, this will just allow you to choose which kind of shaders you want to use. Um, you know, plenty there for you to choose from. So now that you've done this, you've you've essentially now completed it, and yeah, you've actually got the shaders all installed, and you've got some shader packs. Next up, run your Minecraft again. And what I'll do is 
just do its normal stuff, looking for an update and everything. So once this has done its stuff, um, you want to click on here and make sure you've got um, the shaders mod profile selected. This is what we just installed. And now you can just click play. What it'll do is just download some other files, some very, very small files, and then it'll go through this little command thing here. It'll do its funky stuff. And uh, now you want to click on single player, um, delete the original world you had, click on create new world, create new. And now, once this loads up, we're just going to make this a bit bigger actually so you can actually see what's going on like. Once this loads up, you're in the world, you're probably thinking, ooh, they don't like shaders at all. So, just check your FPS. I'm getting about 40, 50, continues to rise. Click on escape, click on options, click on shaders. This is the new menu that you now get. And then choose a shader pack. There's loads here, and as you can see just in, in, in the background with these trees and whatnot, if I just make this bigger, you could probably be able to see. Yeah, it is, as you can see in the background, you're still using the, the default kind of shader, which is none. Um, yeah, scroll down, just choose a shader. So you can choose, I don't know, Cuda Shaders Light. As you can see, once you click OK, and done again, and back to game, all the trees are now wavy, they're all moving and everything. Oh yes, there we are. Um, now, I, I personally don't like that one. I personally, as for my favourite, I like the Rudos Plays Shaders. These look amazing. Look at this. If I just maximise this. These look so good. The trees move, it's, it's genius. <laughs> the colours are also enhanced, and as you can see, actually have a shadow. If I just move up to where the sun is, there's the sun glare look, as you can see. It does look incredibly good. I'll give you that. But yeah, shaders. Yeah, oh man. Look at look, there's your shadow. It's awesome. All the trees are moving with the wind. And yes, it looks good. If there was there some water, I would show you what the water looks like. The water does look. Pretty good indeed, but um, yeah, I can't. So, <laughs> so I can't see no, no water around actually. But this is what it looks like, guys, with the shaders installed. Looks blooming good indeed. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and all sorts, subscribe. And for you guys that do generally, uh, you know, have problems, and yeah, you guys have actually struggled to actually get this working, leave some comments or email me, whichever kind of floats your boat. And yeah, I'll hopefully get back to you. A decent amount of time but yeah it's a very quick kind of easy installation but if you guys do have problems you know let me know and i'll try and get back to you but other than that guys thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video goodbye